Two one interest rate buy down does not save you money. It basically costs you the entire amount of the savings up front when you close on the home. So we call it 3%, right? You save 2% in the first year, you save 1% in the second year. It costs 3% up front in order to save 3% over the first two years. This makes the payment look a little bit lower or maybe a lot lower depending on the size of the purchase price of the house, but it's costing you that exact amount of money. So if you do the math and you say, hey, a $700,000 loan is gonna cost $21,000 to do an interest rate buy down or a 2-1 buy down. So that's fine, right? Because now the seller is gonna pay for it. So if the seller pays for a 2-1 buy down, it costs them three percent so they're gonna lower the price of their home from 770 to 740 they're gonna give you a twenty one thousand dollar credit that's gonna go towards discounting your interest rate for the first three years the problem is that money could have been used as a seller concession. It could have been used to reduce your down payment. It could have been used for a number of different things that would actually feel tangible and could get you through the first two years. So for someone to say that it makes more sense to lower their payment by $500 a month instead of keep eighteen dollars to $20,000 in their bank account and have it for a rainy day doesn't make any sense. Couple that with the fact that if you do end up refinancing in the first year or into the second year, some banks don't refund any of the money that was used for the 2-1 buy down. So now you're forcing a down payment that might or might not pay off and maybe benefiting from it if the interest rates don't go down and you do stay in the loan for at least two years.